Hey YouTube friends, Audio Olympian bringing sound and video to you today. Today's video, real quick tutorial on how I was able to stop the flickering image on my projector. Uh, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I've kind of had the problem, I've talked about that before. Um, but trying all different kinds of things, I was able to come across a very profound solution that I just was really excited, wanted to share out with everybody. So if this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome, we'd love to see you back. Please consider subscribing and punching that bell notification. That'll let you know when we drop another video to the tube. So we'll get into that video here in a minute. So I got my Oppo um, UHD player hooked up and right now I have it on the right setting. So you can see there's no flicker there. You don't get any bars moving up and down. Now that's on this screen here because uh, it's got dark detail in there. It's not very light. Um, what I noticed mostly on a lot of the flicker areas were the whites. Anything that was really white or bright, then my screen started to flicker. And again, it only flickered here on my camera, on my Canon. Uh, the, ca the camera that I use here for doing videos is just my Canon uh, Rebel SL2. Um, not too bad, pretty decent camera. I just wanted something a little bit better than my iPhone. So let's go over here to the setup. And you can see, look at that image there. Nice and smooth and still. 4K UHD, right? Let's get into it here. So I go right down into my video output. Now if your player has um, settings where you can go in and adjust this and you're having a problem then you might want to go in there and, and play around and adjust and try to find the right setting here. If you don't uh, then it might be another issue which I'll talk about here in a second. Now you can see a little bit I'm still getting some kind of bars moving up and that's on this light screen here. Um, like I said, it's mostly a lot of whites, the whites that make the, the image kind of move and flicker. But if it's a movie, which we'll, we'll play something here in a second in a little bit, not really going for sound or anything, but just visual image, you won't notice that at all on the camera here. So, and I go over to my video output setting. I had to first change that to custom. I originally had it at auto, and I wanted to do custom. Custom resolution. Um, I think I had originally, even while well, I had it on auto, um, the, the bad thing about the auto is it either puts it at 24 or 60. Here's what happens when it's at 60. And here's why you want to change these here. Um, when I was researching a little bit, because this was driving me crazy, I couldn't figure out why I was getting this flicker. Okay, there you go. Now, there you see the bar is coming up here. That particularly is more along the lines of my power sources and probably having a little bit of dirty um, power lines and noise going through my cable. So um, I'm gonna be looking into clearing that up as well. Okay, so I was getting that here on the camera with the at 60 Hertz. And the reason you wanna change the resolution, the, the speed of your source and your resource, you know, whatever is receiving the signal, the more you can get them closer to match, the better image you're gonna have. So, in finding it out and researching, 60 hertz was too high. So then I went and changed it thinking, well, maybe put it back down to 24 hertz because most, I think this UHD projector here, which is the Optima, operates at 60, uh, frames per second if the content is for that but you can see clearly here it's just not receiving the signal well then I went to the 24 Hertz which most of them are 30 frames per second BAM now you got crazy flicker going on there speed is now too slow for the projector so then I went back in and I thought well let me try the 50 and see what happens and boom no more flicker bars are almost gone for the most part it stopped and that's what really excites me here so let me go out we'll go and exit here so you can see right here nice smooth clean image you don't see anything moving or, or uh, flickering here anywhere 
like I said, the, maybe the little bars that are moving up and down because of the power, you won't notice that at all here. So it looks very clean, very happy with that. So that's the video there. Uh, I may do a review on the Optima now that I got that cleared up and taken, taken care of there. Uh, in the event if you're looking or if you're toying around with transitioning over to a UHD projector. I know there's a few more out there on the market now too, even some cheaper ones. So we might have that in the uh, playlist here coming up soon. So thanks for watching you guys and we'll catch you next time.